Hi, welcome back to Car Related Automotive Program. The greatest car show on this entire tab. Just this tab, nothing outside of this tab. You click this video because you're a science enthusiast and you'd like to know the scientific reason as to why we don't have flying cars yet. <laughs> well, as luck would have it, I happen to be a scientist. See, I even have scientist glasses. Now to find out why we don't have flying cars yet, we need to look at something called thermodynamics and rocket propulsion. Now of course the Earth is flat, which means that rockets don't exist. Now before we start, I would just like to say that this video is not at all sponsored, but if you would like to support the show, go to Patreon, the link is going to be somewhere. Patreon gives you exclusive benefits of the show, such as blooper reels of this video and uh, a personal thank you message from, from me. I would like to get someone more attractive, like my girlfriend, to give you a thank you message, but she doesn't want to. Ah, where was I? Ah yes, Flat Earth. Now, don't get scared at this sudden burst of information, but the Earth is not flat. I've seen the curve, okay, with my own two ears, I've seen it. But back to the original question, why don't we have flying cars yet? Well, mainly because it's about as difficult as trying to teach a mentally handicapped Chinese boy to speak German. Now I know what you're thinking, but we do have flying cars already. Yeah, but they're the fold out wing ones. I mean, <laughs> who's gonna buy that? That's like wearing Crocs to a fashion show. No, if we want real flying cars like we see it in Star Wars or what's another science fiction film that isn't realistic? Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Then we need to work with our own gravitational fields. I think. You see, if we look at reports of UFOs, People say that they're discs that fly around whenever they like, wherever they like, at the drop of a hat, without any external propulsion system, like a rocket or a fan or something, and uh, they're always round. Well, let's look at it like this. <clears throat> Why are gyroscopes so stable? Because they spin around really fast around their own axis. So basically, using witchcraft and, and other stuff, something happens when it spins and then stuff happens. I'm not a scientists and that is why UFOs are round so how can we create artificial gravity to power flying cars well to create gravity you need a large mass so we need a large mass like your mom and then we spin things around it and then magic happens and we all stick to that i don't know this isn't a science channel we're talking about why we don't have flying or hovering cars yet and that's simple is because you can't fly a car in a small confined space all the flying cars we do have are basically airplanes they've got wings they've got a propeller they look hideous i personally cannot wait for the day we become independent from gravity imagine saying to your family like hey guys i'm gonna go on a quick vacation oh where are you going italy france no Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, you know, I'll be back tomorrow. And there we go. This is a factual channel where we ask real questions like does Australia really exist and are chemtrails actually real? I'll see you guys next time for another episode. Stay, um, stay cool, ho homies.